Canadian media are rarely allowed inside prisons, especially for extended periods of time. But here we are. Our film crew has been granted unprecedented access over the past few months to the Grand Valley Institution for Women, one of only five prisons for women in Canada and home to some of Canada's most notorious killers, including Terry Lynn McClintock, who is serving a life sentence for murdering eight-year-old Victoria Stafford in 2009, and Jennifer Pan, convicted of a kill-for-hire attack on her parents. But if you were expecting hard time and rough conditions for killers, think again. The women are usually running around here, sitting at picnic tables like this and hanging out on the benches. It really doesn't feel like a prison in many respects. I mean, yes, there are security features and barbed wires and you have to go through screening to get in, but I didn't expect the inmates to have this level of freedom, even in the medium security area, where you see them you know, wearing the clothes that they choose, walking around, uh, they're making whatever meals they choose because they're in charge of their groceries and what they're about to eat. I thought there'd be a lot more barbed wire and a lot less white picket fences and picnic tables and flowers and gardens. I really didn't expect to see Muskoka chairs here. I expected to see bars on the windows making sure that these women stayed in their homes when they were supposed to be. And instead it's just a lot of freedom. Like a school campus, women here live in houses with inmates attending programs, courses and even jobs. That's because a lot of the time spent here is focused on reintegration, getting women prepared for life on the outside. Sometimes that's through learning new skills, and sometimes it's through building new bonds. Does your relationship with your son motivate you to get out of here and to become a law-abiding citizen and to be rehabilitated? So Absolutely. Absolutely. All my children do, and my grandchildren. You know, and I'm grateful, right? I'm grateful to have that, my reconnection with my daughter too, right? And they both do. Um, that's a huge, huge motivator for me. Faye Higgins was serving a life sentence for murder, but was granted day parole earlier this month. She credits small glimpses of normalcy, of freedom, of family connection with helping her prepare for her life on the outside. It's about your energy, right? And um, how you deal with that every day and how you deal with situations here in the prison on a daily basis, right? Are you going to freak out, you know, start fighting, right? Or are you going to, you know, brush it off, right? Or, you know, it helps me do that, brush off a lot of things and to be calm, right? To be at peace. That family connection is especially important to inmates here. Most of them are moms. So how do prisoners parent? We'll show you tomorrow. Christina Howard, City News.